Blockbuster movies like Avatar and Up have whetted the public's appetite for 3D content. But everyday use of 3D has been slowed by the need for special glasses and a shortage of material produced in 3D. TOR10 innovator Dynamic Digital Depth has developed software that can convert 2D video to 3D and can even work on mobile devices where auto stereoscopic or glasses free 3D displays can be used. We asked Julian Flack, the company's CTO, how his software adds a third dimension to existing 2D content and why mobile devices will be so important to the future of 3D. Hi, I'm Julian Flack and I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Dynamic Digital Depth or DDD and we're based here in our Perth Western Australian office where we have our, our software and uh, R&D and engineering resources. Our software essentially analyzes the video stream and looks at effects like motion, uh, the motion of particular points, the motion of particular objects. Uh, the technology combines a number of different uh, elements including uh, segmentation, uh, object tracking, uh, color analysis and, uh, and basically anything that we found to, uh, to enhance the uh, recovery of 3D information from a 2D video sequence, even, even technologies like face tracking are, are very effective in this field. Mobile technology it can be part of the vanguard of 3D because uh, it's, it's a mobile device that's easily and often upgraded, so people update their devices quite frequently, so the, the introduction of 3D technology in that area uh, can be quite rapid. And also the technology that can be deployed on a mobile phone, where you can hold the thing in your hand, is quite different to the technologies that are perhaps more relevant in the, in the 3D TV market. Uh, you know, glasses-free technologies, for example, work particularly well in the mobile market because you can easily adjust your viewpoint. Well, there's many, many opportunities for, for 3D. Uh, it's really a new way of, of seeing information uh, when you go back to the fundamentals. And uh, that opens many doors. I think entertainment is really going to be the, the main area of application to begin with. But uh, medical applications are already seeing interest in 3D. Um, I think it's, it's pretty much limitless, but uh, really it'll take some time for, for the technology to penetrate into these other markets uh, like you know, sort of flight control or, or, or areas like that where the technology has to be very proven. So I think entertainment is really the testing ground for that. Games are, are fantastic for 3D because um, the content essentially is already in 3D. It doesn't have to be converted. Uh, each game has a, has a geometry inside it which just needs to be unlocked. Uh, in order to view it in 3D and this is one of the great advantages so already there's actually a, an, an enormous amount of 3D content available if you can just unlock it in the right way and uh, the techno one of the technologies that we have uh, we call Tridef 3D Ignition is a game driver that works with uh, pretty much any game that's out there at the moment and uh, enables that to be played in 3D so there's a lot of high quality content that can be unlocked really quickly.